Hello and welcome back to Sabir Cad. Hope all are doing fine. This video belongs to the series of tutorials on 2D drafting. And in this video, I'll show you the procedure to create this bracket using various drawing and editing commands in AutoCAD. So let's get started. We will start with these two dimensions, but before drawing this figure, we have to set the limits. When you go through the dimensions, you can see that the maximum dimension to be plotted is 104 units. So I'll start with the limits command. I'll keep the lower left at 0, 0, because I don't have to plot any negative values. And I'll give the upper right a value which is more than 104. I'll give 120, comma 120. Then I'll give zoom command and I'll click on all option to bring the limits to the screen. Next I'll give polyline command and I'll plot these two dimensions. I'll pick a point over here. Then I'll keep the cursor in the leftward direction after turning the ortho mode on. Then I'll type a distance of 57 units. And I'll keep the cursor in the upward direction and I'll type 104. Then I'll zoom out a bit. Then keep the cursor rightward and type 57 again. Then give enter. Next I'll click on the offset command in the modify panel and I'll give an offset distance of 18 units as it is given here. I'll give 18. Then I'll select the object to offset and I'll keep a point over here to specify the side. Next I'll create this portion. For that I'll use line command and I'll connect these two endpoints. This distance is given as 16 units. So I'll click on offset and I'll type a distance of 16. Select object to offset, side to offset. Then we have to construct these dashed lines. This is actually a hole and we have to create these dashed lines to indicate the hidden edges. And the dia of that hole is given as 10 units. So I'll click on line command and I'll start from a point mid between these two endpoints. So I'll hold on the shift key and press the right button of the mouse and I'll click on mid between two points and I'll pick this endpoint as well as this endpoint. I've got this midpoint. Then I'll shift right click, click on perpendicular from here and pick a point over here, then give enter. Next I'll give offset command and I'll give an offset distance of half of the diameter which is 5. Select object offset, side to offset, object offset, side to offset. Then I'll extend this line to indicate the center line. So I'll click on this line and I've got the grips here. I'll pick on this grip and I'll stretch this grip point. I'll pick this grip again and I'll stretch it down. Then just press escape to deselect. Next we have to change the line types of the lines. We have dashed line types here which indicates the hidden edges and this central axis is indicated with the center line type. For that, I'll click on the properties panel, then line type pop up, then click on other, then load, then I'll load two line types, center, then scroll down, hold on the control key and click on dashed. Now these two line types are selected, okay. Now you can see that these two line types are loaded in line type manager dialog box and give OK. Now I'll select these lines and I'll click on properties panel, line types, click on dashed. You can see that the line type is changed and click on this line and click on properties and click on center and the line type is changed to center. But here we have to stress these line types so that the spacing between the lines in the line types will be more visible. For that I'll give LTS command which stands for line type scale. Then I'll give a higher value for LT scale. I'll give 5. Now you can see the line types properly. Next I'll mirror these lines onto the bottom side. For that I'll click on the mirror command, select these objects using a standard window and I'll select this midpoint as the first point on the mirror line the ortho mode is on and keep the cursor in the rightward direction to specify the second point on the mirror line and pick a point there and give an enter. Now these lines are mirrored. Next we will construct these arcs 
and fillets at the corners. The radii of the arcs are given as 72 and 94 respectively. So I'll click on circle command and I'll choose center radius option. I'll choose this mid as the center point of the circle and I'll give the radius as 72. Next I'll move the circle 72 units rightward. So I'll click this mid as the base point, keep the cursor in the rightward direction and I'll type a distance of 72. So this arc is created. Similarly, I'll construct the arc with the radius 94. I'll repeat the circle command. I'll choose this mid as a center point of the circle and the radius is 94. Then I'll click on move command, choose the circle, pick this midpoint as the base point, keep the cursor in the rightward direction and I'll type a distance of 94. So that arc is created. Next, we have to trim off unwanted portions of these circles to create arcs from these circles. So I'll click on the trim command. I'll give an enter and I'll select these objects to be trimmed. Next, I'll execute fillet command on these corners with a given radius of six units. So I'll click on fillet, click on radius and give a value of six. This is the first object to fillet and the second object to fillet. Now it is not getting filleted because we are trying to fillet a polyline and an arc, which is not possible. So what I'll do is I'll give explode command by typing the letter X and I'll select all these objects using a crossing window. So I'll click on fillet again and I'll click on radius. I'll make sure that the radius is six then I'll click on multiple option and I'll select these two objects as well as these two objects. Next, I'll repeat fillet. I'll click on radius and I'll give a radius of 18 units. Then I'll click on multiple option. I'll select this object and this object and this line as well as this arc. So this is how you create arcs and the fillets. This completes the tutorial on creating the 2D drawing of this bracket. That's all for now. Until I catch you with another informative video on CAD, bye Bantaker. Thank you so much for your time.